In this video, we'll walk through how to commit our changes to a branch. So first thing I want to do is be under this orgs tab here. And you're always going to want to pull in changes from the source org where you configured those. Ideally, it's going to be in your sandbox. So I'll select the sandbox in this example. And as users are making changes in their org, Flowsome's automatically scanning that org every five minutes looking for changes made. And they're going to slowly trickle into this latest component section. Now, this is where the cherry picking begins. As the admin, I could say, for my user story, I did modify this record type, this flow, and this custom field. Now, once you have your components selected, next thing you'll wanna do is commit those changes to a branch. So we'll click commit to branch. Next, just select the branch we wanna to commit to. And I'll select that very first one we created, the JR678. Once you have your branch selected, we wanna continue commit to branch. Now Flowsome's gonna compare these three changes with what exists in your branch. And here we can see that these are safe to commit, meaning there's no risk of an overwrite and there's technically nothing for us to really review. So if we check this box next to component name and click continue commit to branch, Flowsome's actually gonna commit those three changes to the JR678 branch. And you'll notice once this page reloads, we're redirected back to our branch and now you're ready to start working through some quality gates. Thank you.